haven't seen Turbo in a hot minute, yo. It, it has been a while. It's been a while. That's how I seen school is out, right? Arrows has come back to Xeno. Oh, shit, you're right. It's summer. It's summer. Not I'm an adult. Either. I forgot what that's like. Right? I, I, I'll be seeing people like, like, going on the buses in the morning. I'm like, oh my god, there's like school. Ew, children. Yeah, it's so, like, I way, have to go to work, but now it's just hot. It's just hot and gross, and it's raining outside, and we have Zane in a really, really good lead right now. Uh, they, they have nothing on them. Yeah, they all right. literally just... Oh, uh, damn, okay, uh, that could be a really good thing, Zero Death, but Turbo Boy taking it almost back to even a few moves. I mean, Ross Jr., I was just a funny little guy, bro. He is funny. Those upper, upper strings are super funny. Absolutely. You know, some real great low percent combos, and that's how you can see Terra Boy already, like, halfway to even. Using the Mecha Koopa to set up at ledge, but Zane, Zane's can placement is always so good. They're going to have an angle for all of Bowser Jr.'s. <coughs> Bowser Jr., kind of like a worse duck hunt, you know? Yeah, because I'm looking at them now, and it's like, they have the same kind of thing going on. We have, like, exploding projectiles kind of going off, but, like... They, I, I think they both kind of have similar game plans, yeah. where Bowser Jr. wants to set up those, uh, those setup projectiles with, like, the Mecha Koopa or, like, the slow-moving cannonball, which are both threatening in their own right, but they take an entire tax here to come out. Whereas Zane can throw out the cans. Kim is a reversal, for God's sake. And of course the goons, the goons take so little time to come out. So Zane is kind of going to innately have much more of an advantage when it comes to setting up the pressure. And we're seeing that already with oh that my super God. extended ledge trap, uh, taking Terraboy's second stock, while Zane is sitting pretty with their first already. Yeah, they actually took a. Uh, they, every single thing they, they they threw out was calculated to an extent. Like, you know, Terraboy almost had no no way to come back to stage safely without getting hit by first beat a uh, gunman or a uh, bomb. So, and it might be the same thing over here. The com the continue uh, the continuous like assault that Zane is going in on Terraboy. He has nowhere to go. Finally, Ooh, finally comes back, and not for long. That was actually really smart there by Terraboy to let the hammer. Swing uh, at the, the goon so as to extend the hitbox, give himself a little bit more advantage coming up back to stage. But right now, he's 173. You're playing with the can down there. You're bold. I thought the can was just... was gonna demolish... was just gonna demolish Terraboy, like, underneath the stage. Right? I, I was scared. I was like, are you gonna... You gonna come back? Like, ah! But no, oh, Zane... Yep. Spacing that... Uh, spacing around that getup attack perfectly see it. Yep, just the slow walk back and the slow, like, just micro walk forward to make Terraboy think that they were going to try something to make Terraboy swing with the, uh, the get-up attack. And a really, really solid game uh, in favor of Zane. Hopefully we're going to see a little bit more attention from Terraboy and, you know, oh. Okay, I don't know why I heard something different. I, I looked away and I heard, like, the last, I heard, like, the err of the, of the announcer and I was like, Junior. I was like, Joker? Who? Why? <laughs> I know, we're going back. Oh, he's going back to, uh... What is that junior, but not, What is going... Zane swung the wrong way and still got the climb. Just Smash Brothers. Yeah, we're going over TNC. Uh, still, uh, like you said, they, they both characters have to have some kind of very similar game plan, so I'm pretty much going to be expecting the same kind of setups used for these platforms or lack thereof now uh, for both characters. And Zane's no stranger to this to this setup either way on like an Omega stage. But I think something we're seeing so far, and um, the, the cart actually reminded me um, that Bowser Jr. has the cart, but... Uh, yeah. I think what Terraboy might want to do in this game too is come in a little bit more uh, rush down as opposed to Zane, because as we've seen before, Zane's really got the far away pressure zoning on lock. So Absolutely. if Terraboy can start using that cart, using that super armor to try and get through, then you know, you might have a better chance. And things are already looking a little bit more. Obviously, the percent differential is scary, but both characters, you know, closer to death percent. But Terraboy will be the one losing his first stock. Yeah, like you were saying about the uh, the car super armor. What? I was gonna say that. All right. 
I was gonna say that uh, Terraboy has been using it very sparingly. At least in the first uh, match, I saw him use it a couple of times. And I think having to power through these projectiles that Zane has set up so efficiently, so effortlessly, is gonna do wonders for him. Cause Zane, they know that zoning, that zoning uh, set up so, so well, as well as oh, oh my God, I would've been crazy. That should've been huge for Terraboy had that connected. Absolutely. Oop, falling out of the up airs, but Zane finds another one. Now, Terraboy actually with the lead. Zane has to use their air dodge to get back to ledge. Terraboy not ready to punish it. Oh no. Oh no, Terraboy? you're Terraboy? You're fine. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. I got scared that he was gonna get caught underneath like the flat side of the stage. I was like, oh no, 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 not like this, please. Oh! Oh, you're bold. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Surprised there wasn't just like a, a forest match right there or anything like that. Just air dodge like rolled right, right in front of him. Oh, I don't know if you're dead. Just kidding, yeah. you're dead. Just enough rage and, you know, Bowser Jr. jab combo being way too strong for its own good. And Terraboy is going to get some extra credit right there with the up throw. And a little bit more. Oh, 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 if you got the hammer, I would have popped off. It was like a close game. No. Yeah, using the very edge of the uh, of the uh, platform right there in order to get Zane stuck so quickly and so effortlessly and like take out like that second game for himself. Really good for Terror Boy. Uh, that's that's the that's the TNC. Yeah. Uh, funny, funny. The, the TNC difference, and I that uh, that last stock was zero to death actually. Oh my god, really? Let's yep. go, Terra Boy. Uh, Terra Boy using that third jump that the cart gives you mm -hmm. to fake Zane out into thinking that they were safe in going back to that platform. Oh, you're never safe on this platform. This platform no. was, is everyone's downfall. All right, so Ooh. Battlefield, Zane's counter pick of choice, which, yeah, I, I agree with. Got bops? I don't know this one. Me neither. Oh wait, no, is this a Shantae song? Yeah, that, that's how I knew actually. It's the one that Dill picks. I'm a fake Dill fan, oh my god. I can't believe it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a fake Dill fan, I'm sorry. Oh, Terraboy kind of caught sleeping at the wheel there. Oh, uh, Terraboy, what was happening? There. Bro was just man standing. He was also thinking about the music. He was like, wow, what song is this? <laughs> All right, Zane going uh, with a, yeah. Look, look, look at this little dog. That's a dog. That's the most dog dog I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he do be dog. He do be dog, and he do be. Oh Yo, the dog go God. crazy! Zane absolutely getting a, a really good amount of percentage off of these uh, can bombs. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the spacing, spacing there just a little bit weird for Terraboy. Not able to get too much extension off of the up air strings uh, from the battlefield platforms, unfortunately. Just getting kind of the normal amount. Terraboy waiting for the Mecha Koopa to come in, but it ran out just in time. It's, Mecha Koopa is not great sometimes. Oh my god. The, the, the setup had something coming over, had a uh, foyer attack going on. You can't do anything. Yep, Terraboy trying to call out a roll there with the Mecha Koopa timer going off at ledge, but Zane wisely waiting it out. Oof, super armor. Oh! Terraboy just coming in, just coming through. Oh my god, dude. Stop oh, it. Not Stop Zane. it! Zane! Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why that clay pigeon has like the most painful sound effect in the world. Like, it just feels bad to get hit by. Yo, and just, just as a simple stage uh, counter pick is really was giving Zane the edge that they need. Zane is only at 47% and Terraboy is struggling to even make it a, a meter in front of Zane. Yeah, it feels like, you know, Zane won that first interaction at, you know, at round start and it's just been the the, tr the Zane train has not stopped. Alright, 172 on Terraboy Oof. right now. Ooh. Oh! What is that grab? Let's well, grab First of all, That's that. Crazy. Second of all, what was that drift? I, that that was crazy. Like, I did not know Buzz Jr. had that kind of drift. It almost rivals Captain Falcons. Like, right. hello? Right, but Zane is at 84, so if Terraboy is able to get another one of those, like, early kills with the cart, certainly not out of the realm of possibility, but Zane's getting all of this chip damage so far, just throwing out these projectiles. Yeah, I agree. Zane has a bunch of really good amount of extra credit and more for themselves to kind of close up, up this game. In the event they lose their stock just like that, 
41% definitely manageable, definitely able to uh, bring the game back in favor of Terraboy if he's able to keep himself away from these zoning techniques and less trapping situations that Zane keeps putting him in. Absolutely. I mean, that's an up air combo. That's oh. that's all Terraboy needs to make this even. And you can see he's looking for it. Zane running to the other side of the stage, setting up the can pressure. I really like the way that Zane is using Battlefield to kind of set up these lanes of threat range because of how Terraboy has to otherwise move around the platforms. Okay. Oh, There's a battle of who can get the upper combo in first, really. Pretty much. Terraboy trying to do a similar thing with the Mecha Koopa. Trying to make that uh, main stage oh. platform a threat. But uh -oh. the hits just keep coming. 147 now on Terraboy. And you're stuck at ledge. Really what good attack. God. Zane had the sneakiest can setup, just barely skirting over the ledge there. And the grab into down throw into up there, taking the, the third and final game in favor of Zane. Yeah, no, I mean, great stuff from both players. Look at this, look at this. Faked out with the can, made you made you have to shield, grabs you into a down throw, which you definitely know at this percentage, the Akane up air is going to kill on Battlefield. Like, bro, bro, you, no amount of DI is going to save you on that. Yeah, that one was rough right yeah. there. There is yeah. nothing that Terraboy can do. You either eat the bomb or you eat a down throw. Like, mm hmm Especially after I think Terraboy had already taken a can to the shield, so exactly. he's maybe worried about uh, you know the health of the shield. It was just a bunch of bombs going off. That's really what it was. <laughs> it, it was a battle of the bombs and a battle of if I can get my upper juggle on you or not. That's all it was. Here it is. This was a really smart play by Zane, honestly. Really classic setup. Just a bait. A raw bait, make you shield, you can't move, I'm gonna grab you, call it a day. Zane standing up before it even said game. Yeah, Zane was like, <laughs> I'm gonna get you up there, yeah. I'm done. I'm At gonna 170, get... yeah, you're 178, you're done. I'm gone.